always nice to have a good beverage when you're budgeting. This is the Trader Joe's sparkling black tea with peach. It's so, so good. Love it. Um, all right. I'm a little nervous. I do kind of a combo of a monthly budget as well as budgeting by paycheck. I like to see the month as a whole, which mine is not the first through the 30th. It's the date of my first paycheck until the date of, you know, the day before my next paycheck, if, not next, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so the first through the 30th doesn't really work because this month I'm getting paid on the 7th and the 21st. Um, so my November budget doesn't start until the 7th and it will go, I think until December the 4th, something like that. I like to see the month as a whole because that helps me kind of plan ahead. Um, but also I like to see, I'll show you my calendar view too. So you can kind of see how I split it up by paycheck. That way I know what's coming out of my accounts. I do have pretty much everything on auto pay, which I'm so grateful there was a time in my life that I was like, I don't know how we'll ever get to auto pay, how I'll ever be able to sign up for auto pay because if stuff drafted and I wasn't prepared, there would not be money in the account. I would be overdrafting like crazy. I remember those days and I haven't really thought about it, but it's kind of nice now that I've reached that level here at 30. So feeling good about that. I do have a lot of auto pay, you know, bills and stuff like that, just so I don't forget it. Um, but that really helps me when I can see the paycheck breakdown. That way I know kind of where I can take, you know, spending money, grocery money, stuff like that, you know, from the paycheck that's maybe not paying all the bills. So let's go ahead and jump into the number. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the spreadsheet. So I'm going to be focusing here on the um, expected portion for everything. This is my budget. We don't know what's actually going to happen, obviously, especially when it comes to spending. Um, but most of my bills have come in for the month, so I do have a good idea of exactly how much at least my recurring expenses will be. So starting out with paycheck one, which is happening on November the 7th, I expect 1878 so $1,870. Uh, and I'm going to put that same amount again below because I work the same amount of hours every week. And my paychecks, I think there's something that might make my second paycheck a little bigger, like some insurance thing doesn't come out on the second paycheck or maybe it's my 401k I can't remember it's like something random it's not a huge difference though so we're just going to leave those the same and that gives us three thousand seven hundred and fifty six dollars to work with and then scrolling down here we have our recurring expenses you will notice over here this at a glance portion um this is going to create a running total as we go so I have the formula set up to equal all of my totals and that way we can always see what's happening on a monthly view. So we have that. Let's start with the bills, the biggest one being rent. Me and Morgan split the rent on our rental house and we each pay $975 because our full rent is $1950. So we split that 50-50. We also split bills 50-50, pretty much everything 50-50. Um, Morgan definitely pays for more of our dates um, and sometimes he will pay for like, instead of paying half the groceries, he'll like Venmo me for all of the groceries, which is super nice. Um, but for bu budget purposes, 50, 50. So there's the rent. I also have a car payment. Y'all know I love that Jeep and I pay $525 a month. Honestly, worth every penny. Obsessed with that car. I could go on and on. So there is the car payment. Those happen every single month and they never change. Um, then we have our electric bill. So electricity this month, it went down cause it's officially fall in Texas. So we are each only paying $76 and 66 cents. We love to see it. Sometimes we're each paying like 150 on that because Texas is so hot. Um, and our electric bill in the summer months can get crazy. Say hello to Chansey here on the tiny screen. <laughs> he needs a little love. So very excited to see a lower um, electricity bill this month. That will help the budget. Okay, honey, we'll take a little break. We need to take a little budget break. I say it's stressful. The budget's so stressful, I know. Okay, why don't you go find your bone? Why don't you go find your bone? Okay, moving on, we'll do our water bill next. Just get all the main bills out of the way. This one is always super low. I'm budgeting $25 because it's been sitting right around 
$25 a month. So $25 for water. And then we have the TV, internet, um, bill. And this is the same every single month as well. And we each pay 108 and it's a pricey 216 for cable and internet. Ugh, makes me sick. Um, moving on, then I also pay for my car insurance, which is a hundred and forty six dollars. Yeah, hundred and forty six dollars. Moving on, gym. So I have a normal gym membership. This is fifty four oh four. I'm sorry, fifty three oh four every month. Um, and then I also pay for Hotworks, which I'm really thinking. Every time I think of canceling it, I'm like, no, I want to go. And I just haven't been going. So I need to get back into that routine. Maybe now that it's not so hot, the summer was rough because the last thing I want to do when I'm hot is go get somewhere hotter. Um, but now that it's cooling off, maybe we'll hit hot works again, but I need to make a decision because I am paying $41 a month for that. And Morgan also pays for that every single month. So we each pay $41. Um, and then the last thing I pay for every single month is, is this the last thing? Yeah. The last thing is newly. It's a like clothing subscription, obviously a more fun purchase, but it's something that's auto drafted. So I like to keep it in these recurring expenses. This will be my second month with newly and I'm on a three month like coupon where I'm paying $84 and 44 cents. That gives me six pieces at a time and I can have one order a month. So there is that. Okay, and then the last thing, I knew I was forgetting something, is apps and subscriptions. So I'll scroll down and show you exactly what this category entails. Um, and we will go ahead and add a formula. So that cell is going to equal this number right here, 128.45. Um, and you can see all of my apps and subscriptions right here these are all on auto pay so they just come out randomly throughout the month so i like to put that in there as well we have apple care extra storage youtuber problems um the kindle unlimited app for reading i have two um wix charges that is my website if y'all remember the recipe blog and the meal planner sales that is what that is one is an email um and one is the like website functioning as a storefront so i could list something for sale and you could buy it i haven't yet canceled that because i haven't made, really made a decision on where that website's going to go if anywhere it might just delete one day i haven't decided but i do continue to pay for those um canva which is where i make my thumbnails and all sorts of stuff spotify obviously epidemic is the um music subscription that i use that uh, I can use on YouTube and not get any copyright claims. So I pay for that every month. And then um, the Lightroom subscription, that's just an editing app for my photos. So all of those come out to 128.45. Seems kind of high. <laughs> Maybe I should cancel that Wix website. But that is the last thing here in our budget for the recurring expen expenses, excuse me. And that brings all of those to a total of $2,162.59 leaving us left over $1,593.41. And that is for all of these things right here. Plus we're gonna move over to this side, debt side hustle. We'll get there in a minute. But I like to budget all of these things out of my paycheck, groceries, gas. I have the Colorado trip because we're leaving for Colorado this week. Um, spending and savings out of my paycheck. I never like to operate too much off of my extra income. So I try to make sure I can pay all of my bills via my paycheck income. So that's why we haven't got to side hustle income just yet. Groceries, I budget out $300 a month. Morgan pays usually at least for half, if not a little bit more, um, but 300 and then he puts in 300, that's $600 of groceries a month, that's a lot. But we go to the grocery store almost two times a week. Um, and anytime I try to lower that budget, I exceed it. So we're leaving it there for now. We spend about 600, we're gonna leave it. So 300 each. Um, for gas, I pay about 150 a month. I fill up about twice a month. Um, and it costs me anywhere from like 70 to $75. Then a Colorado trip, I just budgeted 200. I've already paid for the flights. Um, I have, from my work, I have like a room 
discount so our room won't be very expensive in the hotel we're staying in and Morgan will probably pay for the rental car since I paid for the flights so I'm only budgeting 200 for that um, spending money this is kind of just like the random Amazon purchases run to Hobby Lobby stop at Starbucks those kind of things all goes into the spending category um, sort of a miscellaneous if you will and I'm gonna do 300 a month which is tight for me because I have a spending addiction we'll get to that in a minute that's where this debt payment situation comes into play right um, I'm gonna capitalize the s on savings because that's driving me nuts um, and then savings for the month I like to put it over here um, before I get to the side hustle income just to know I can at least be saving this much right so we're gonna put 200 to savings is that right no 300 to savings look at me go we're saving big so that brings our variable expenses to 1250 left over 343 dollars um that 343 will cover these credit card payments um at least the minimums so i have no worries there these are the only credit cards um, that have any balances some are low some are high um but this will cover that so that's not a problem but let's hop over here to the side hustle income and let's talk youtube youtube is all over the place at least for me um if i post hardly any i'll make a you know two or three videos a month i make a lot lower um income obviously through adsense so this month which is october i'll get paid out on november 21st i made 337 dollars in perspective the previous month was like $850. So it's all over the place, truly. And it all depends just on how much I'm posting, which is exactly why I don't like to rely on that income. Cause if I would have expected 800 and then actually only got 300, I would be $500 in the hole trying to figure out where to get that money. Right? So 337 Amazon, I checked it and it's like, $19 or something. So we're just going to put 20, leave it at that. Um, and then also I opened a new checking account and there was a checking account bonus. If you got a direct deposit in like the first three months or 30 days or something like that, um, they gave you $300 that was through chase. So I signed up for a checking account, put my YouTube money in that it moved my YouTube direct deposit to that account. And I already have the $300 it's sitting in that account. So that's kind of exciting. That brings this random side hustle, if you can call it, opening a checking account side hustle. It's just extra money that usually wouldn't be there. Um, that brings us to $657. So moving down here, card one, we have, um, I have two cards that are at zero interest, so they're not my priority right now. One of them, the um, minimum payment is at $41. And the next one, same situation, no interest is at $90. So those are kind of on the back burner right now. I am paying off a little bit of credit card debt. I don't want to go that much into it. Um, you know, I don't know who watches these videos, like whatever. All that matters is that Morgan is very aware of all of my financial habits. We've looked at each other's accounts. We've talked about all of the debts we have. We're very in tune with that, um, which I think is super important, especially if you plan to combine finances one day me and Morgan will be married next October so we definitely plan to be operating off of you know one bank account um, so we talk finances a lot and try to help each other you know reach our financial goals so moving on the Amazon card this is what I'm paying off I got an Amazon card <laughs> because when I was buying my YouTube camera which I operated on YouTube for like four years without a camera just iPhone only decided to upgrade, get a camera one December. And if I opened the Amazon Prime card, I could get $150 off of the camera. So I opened it and then I started spending and it just, it adds up, it adds up. So the monthly payment to this card that I have planned out is going to be $750. Is that right? Yeah. $750. So we knew we had the 343 here left over from the paycheck. We added that to the 650 and that is where I'm pulling this 
you know, Amazon card. Obviously the minimum of that Amazon card is not $750. I'm just throwing all extra income at that payment so we can get that paid off. We're no longer paying interest on anything. Then I can just focus on those two smaller cards and get that paid off quickly. I'm thinking before we move, which is in the summer, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So moving on, there's that. Brings our debt total to $881. Yikes, this is why you shouldn't go into credit card debt, people, because that is where your money goes. Think about all the things I could do with $800 a month. I'm thinking Botox. I'm thinking laser hair removal. I'm thinking shopping, savings, house savings, you know? Um, okay, so moving on, let's scroll up, and now we can see this at a glance. So we have our total income, which is our paychecks right here, the nine to five, along with the side hustle income down here, brings our total income this month to 4,413. We've got our bills taken out, 2,162. Our debt payments here, and then all of our variable spending. You could call it like your envelopes. If you're a cash spender, this would be sort of what I would envelope. Um, the groceries, gas, savings, spending, um, the savings actually moved to a high yield savings account. I use Marcus. I think my uh, yield is like 4.45 right now, so pretty high. Um, I've also heard that SoFi is good. I don't have any experience with that, but I'm currently using Marcus, which I think is like a Goldman Sachs company or something like that. Anyway, so that's where I move that money. Um, and the Colorado and the spending will just sit in my checking account, and I spend on my debit because I've learned from the credit card situation. So we're operating off the debit card these days. Um, so that brings our expenses to $4,293 and leftover is 119. That's kind of a cushion if I go over in groceries or go over in spending, maybe in Colorado we're spending a little extra. Um, this $100 is gonna help cushion me. And since I operate off of my debit card, I'm moving out my savings, everything's getting auto drafted, I do like to have just a little cushion in that checking account. So that is that. And now we can see the full budget. I don't know if I can zoom out and make this any smaller without the screen messing up, but there we have it. November's budget. Feeling good about it. Feeling very good about it. We do have quite a lot going on. The holidays are coming. Um, I should probably use some of the savings towards like Christmas savings. That's probably what it will go to just so I can make sure I have enough money to like buy the gifts that I want to buy, things like that. Um, but right now, let's just get through the Colorado trip and we'll figure out more about that savings later. But that is the full budget. That also reminds me, I forgot to show you my little calendars moving over. Okay, quick look at the calendar. This top calendar I made um, so that I can see the bills and I sort of split them into bill types. So the blue ones are ones that I split with Morgan. The purple ones are just like elective spending, gyms, clothing subscription. And then um, the orange are the apps. So this is everything that's drawing out of my account automatically. I like to see that. You can see my paychecks um, go in here on the 7th and the 21st. I marked those in green. But what might be even more helpful is this calendar, which I've divided into paycheck one and paycheck two for November. So paycheck one is in blue. Um, I get paid here on the 7th and you can see we're gonna be in Denver for four days of that. I have iCloud coming out on Saturday, another bill on Sunday, another bill on Monday. And you can see this paycheck is very bill heavy. We have electric, um, the clothing subscription, our TV and internet. And then next paycheck is a lot less, right? We just have a couple of apps some small bills, et cetera. So this is a really good way to look at it if you're a budget by paycheck spender. I really like to see it this way. That way I can gauge what should be coming out of my account in those couple of weeks and what to expect. Um, and it also kind of helps me budget groceries, et cetera. Um, so there are my calendars. Um, also seeing this YouTube income compared to these debt payments, it makes me want to start uploading way more content, um, which I think I will be. A little excitement coming is I've started working with Erin again, which I've been here for a while. You know, that was my registered dietitian. I really enjoyed working with her. Kind of got off on a like, 
just not motivated really in 2023. I just couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do. If I wanted to count calories, if I didn't want to count calories, what workouts, what I was eating, if I was going to be, you know, all these different things. I just like couldn't really get it in gear. Um, and now with the wedding, obviously like a year away, I'm like, okay, we've got to get it together. And I do feel like I have a lot of accountability when I work with Erin. Um, we check in every other week. I really trust her opinion. She can run like you know, get me blood test work or anything like that. She can prescribe things if needed. Um, I have like a gallbladder lack thereof issue and she's able to um, get me, you know, vitamins and stuff that has helped me with that, just digestion, things like that. Um, so she's just a really good resource for me. And I think that right now I need the accountability. I need the, I'm going to have a phone call with somebody and they're going to ask if I you know, did all of the things that we talked about two weeks prior and I want to be able to have that good report. So I just feel like it will keep it top of mind. Um, and she's just honestly somebody I can lean on to ask any sort of health, weight loss related questions that I have. So I'm starting to work with Erin again and she agreed that we can share the journey here on my YouTube channel. So we will have more Erin content. Um, I think I'll even film some of our FaceTime calls and cut some clips so y'all can really see exactly what happens in a call with a dietitian, what to expect, especially if you're doing one that's like telehealth style um, and get you kind of a better idea if it's something that you think would work for you. So looking forward to that. Stay tuned for it. Very pumped. We go out of town this week. It's Sunday night right now and we leave on Wednesday for Colorado, um, which w is where we're taking our engagement photos. Um, we're doing it there because our photographer is there because our wedding will be there We're getting married outside of Denver in the mountains and it's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait So we're doing some mountain photos this week and then once we get back um, We have just a couple weeks I have some dinners and brunches planned with friends and then it'll be Thanksgiving So the holidays are upon us I'm gonna try to stick to this budget and I think near the end of the month, maybe beginning of December, we can come back and take a look and we'll see how we did. I'll show you what I spent money on and we'll wrap it up. I'll try to do these monthly because I feel like this is pretty fun and easy and simple. So if y'all liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what budgeting tips help you. Are you writing it out on paper? Are you doing a spreadsheet? And I think that's it for this video. We've wrapped up the November budget and I'm excited to see how this month goes, report back, and we'll try to do these more regularly. If you like them, let me know. I did get a lot of feedback when I talked about it and a lot of people said, yes, show the budget. We love real life numbers, as do I. I love seeing other people's budgets. So maybe this will inspire you to budget on your own. Let me know what your favorite budgeting method is or if you did something that's super game changing, let me know. I'm always looking for new stuff. I also love budgeting YouTube channels. So if you have any suggestions of those, leave them in the comments below. Um, I would say my number one recommendation right now that I'm watching a lot of is Caleb Hammer. He does these financial audits, brings people in. He does kind of yell at them a little bit, but it's a really good motivation, especially for me paying off a little bit of credit card debt. It's like, okay, yeah, I got to get in that mindset of like, no taquitos. If you watch them, that will make sense. But like no random spending. You can't do that when you have debt to pay off. So I'm trying to get into that mindset, but also you got to live. You got to live a little. So I'm not doing anything too crazy to pay it off. Um, but I do feel like $750 to one card. We're paying almost $900 in debt. I feel like that's a really good chunk. Um, I did cut down my spending a lot to make that happen. Um, and also my savings. So taking a little hit there to get that paid off and then it will all work out in the end. We'll be able to save more um, and budget more, have some more me money. And yeah, I think that's it for today's video. So let me know if you liked it, comment down below and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.